People have always been inspired by bees, and bees were held sacred in, in ancient philosophies, in ancient cultures. Maybe we're heading back to such a time. That would be wonderful for the bees. You're not looking at a box full of strange insects, but it, the colony is actually a person. And you're trying to figure out what, what does this person want from you? What do you think about this person? You may uh, have heard it from a lot of people in this last summer. It's so sad, I hardly saw any bees in my garden. You can see the honey now. This is capped honey, uh, very beautiful, freshly capped honey. The honey is something that they primarily collect for themselves to maintain their species, to survive the winter. What is uh, happening in conventional beekeeping, and I think many people are shocked when they hear that most bees in this world are fed this rather shoddy, inferior product, sugar. Why is anyone asking why the bees are so ill? The focus is certainly not on taking the honey. The focus is on sending happy, healthy bees out into the countryside. We're basically treating them like we're treating battery hens. There is no regard for the fact that, that the bees are uh, the bees in, the, in a beehive, in a colony, they are a family. They have a very strong relationship to their queen. And in most beekeeping books you will read that after one or two years you kill that queen and you put in a new queen uh, because that queen is then inferior. Her egg-laying powers will reduce. Man has uh, taken over in all realms of life uh, with an attitude we know best. Bees cannot thrive on monoculture. Bees cannot thrive on chemically infested land. Plants will still produce nectar, but the nectar is poisoned. The bees have a very, very fine nervous system which is uh, affected by these things. Pesticides are damaging for all forms of life. I would never consider using any of these products and I've been under attack from uh, the conventional beekeeping establishment for that. But this is just something that you have to withstand and uh, have to trust that one day the truth will prevail. And I think we're close to that now. What is most wrong is thinking that we know better what the bees need than they do. Maybe there can be no life without bees for us.